Between 7 to 9% of people are estimated to fear deep water. Even for those without full-fledged thalassophobia, oceans and rivers and lakes can easily become a source of terror. But water is everywhere. In the plumbing of your homes, in what you eat and drink, inside your own body. Water falls from the sky and runs beneath the ground. You can't run from it. You can't hide from it. Water will seep through the cracks and into the walls and make itself a part of the very air you breathe. That 9% is right. Water is to be feared. And you can never escape from it. Waterlogged is a short-form horror anthology podcast, highlighting the underutilized forms of water. Instead of rivers and oceans, we focus on plumbing, puddles, mist, and more. Created by Daisy McNamara and produced by Law of Names Media and Subletoral Sounds. Well, they're definitely not uh, weird or suspicious or... Uh, well, Dakota means well, I think. I mean... I'd like to think so, considering I work with them. You would like to think so about basically everyone, Reese? Hey, nine times out of ten, I've been right. I feel like that's a subjective... uh, I feel like I don't agree. Uh, Anyway. Well, I was right about you. Ha! I... You know what? We're not going to get into whether or not I'm weird or suspicious. Uh, <laughs> I'll, I'll give you this. I like Dakota more than I like most people here. I'll give you that. But all of this is beside the point. I, we should, like, should we do the thing? Where we definitely put everything back exactly where it goes to, to please <laughs> the keeper. Oh my god. Of the notes. Alex. Oh, so exactly, exactly where you left them, Reese. They must <laughs> not, not have a file out of place. But they're right. It's my job. I'm supposed to keep this place tidy. Well, it's not my job. <sighs> yeah, but you do start your job tomorrow, right? <sighs> my job. Is that is that what we're calling we're calling this the, we're calling these our jobs like we you know like we applied for this like like wow I I it's strange I I almost don't remember the interview for this job I, I mean uh, I really don't know what else to call it I mean. Being forced to pick between death and a lifetime of dealing with all sorts of horrifying bullshit. And then, you know, picking the horrifying bullshit because the thought of surviving the dead zone only to be killed afterwards sucked. Like, really just like, well, why did I try so fucking hard? Yeah, I guess, you know what? It's my job. Sure. I start my job tomorrow. Yeah. Um, sorry. Just, just hit play, Reese. I took the rest of the day off. Not exactly what I had in mind, but Marshall can be extremely persuasive. I'm just glad I ended the last session at a good point. I'm moving on to day two inside the Colin Caves. Um, There appears to be more audio files this time around. I'm hoping there is some substance to them. I won't waste any more time rambling. Let's begin. I'm sorry. For what? You know what? I'm... I 
shouldn't have snapped at you. You didn't... You weren't trying to be... It's not your fault that I'm here. And it's it's not like... It's not... It's not like you did this. I'm just... I'm... This place... These people freak me out. I, I'm irritable. I'm lashing out. I'm just... I know I've been all over the place lately, and it's not fair to you. I guess it's just... It's different. It was... For some reason, it was easier back when we just talked over the radio. When I didn't know what you looked like, and I... It was easier to just spill my guts, and... But... But now you're here, and I can see you, and I actually know you, and I can... I can see how you react to the things I say, and... I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Reese. I get it. It it makes sense, and... I... I need you to know that I don't hold it against you. But... I do really appreciate the apology. Like I said before, we're... We're gonna figure these things out. Gonna figure out... How we work together, now that we're face-to-face, and not radio-to-radio. Things are just going to be different going forward. Yeah. I mean, like, I know that. You're right, and I know that. I guess... It's different knowing something than actually believing it. Like, I can't... I can... I can... I know that logically. But that's not how I feel right now. Well, I have something that you can believe in. That we're good. And I promise you we are. for now. I I don't want to hurt you, Reese. You're not. And you won't. I trust you. Let's... Let's just keep listening. Hey everyone, it's Blair. I'm trying something new. We're uh, venturing through the Calling Caves in search of an artifact. Something that holds the supernatural being together. Kind of like a weird genie in a bottle situation. Our guide, Alan, doesn't seem too convinced, but that's not stopping me. Plus, we paid him to be here, so, you know, he kind of has to deal with my bullshit. But, uh, yeah. Looking, looking good. (laughs) Hey, sorry for interrupting. I just really couldn't handle another one of Clyde and Sarah's arguments. Uh, That's okay, you're good. Yeah, they're, they're really going at it over there. What, happened. Well, Sarah found a spider and scared the shit out of Clyde with it, and he's claiming his scream was because he was worried it was poisonous. Mm -hmm. Not because of, you know, his deadly fear of spiders. (laughs) Anyway, what are you doing? That sounds like Clyde. Um, I'm just trying to figure out a way to start this whole podcast idea. I'm, I'm not sure how it's going, though. Oh, well... I'm sure you'll figure it out. Yeah, yeah, it's just different from my posts. I mean, I plan out what I'm going to say and perfect it. This feels way more loose. (laughs) And, you know, my perfectionist attitude isn't enjoying it, so. I know, but you'll do a fine job, okay? Don't sweat it so much. Just be yourself. (laughs) I'm... I'm trying to. I I think I got the introduction down, though, so I think that's a good place to start, uh, obviously. But there's not going to be much to report on until later. I might bug our instructor, see if he knows anything about the stories. It would be nice to have another person's point of view. Seems like he's a very skeptical person, though, so I don't know how good his point of view would be. Hey, sometimes it's good to have a skeptic. 
so you don't throw everything you have at something that might not even exist. I'm not throwing everything I have at it, and it definitely exists, by the way. Just be careful, Blair. Please? We will be fine. I promise. Blair, can you please settle this? Reese ran away and was being entirely unhelpful, by the way, if we're talking about that. There's nothing to settle. Does this thing look poisonous? Yes or no? This thing? The spider? Do you want a closer look? No, get that thing away from me! Just admit you're scared of spiders, Clyde. It's not the end of the world. I'm going to, uh, try to give updates throughout the day, but I... I keep forgetting. I get so caught up in everything that I kind of forget I'm supposed to be recording a podcast. Anyways, that doesn't matter. I'm joined here with Alan Dufour, who's our caving instructor. And turns out Alan has heard of the artifact I'm trying to find. What exactly did you say about it? That it's bullshit. I don't believe it's real. Uh, Ghosts don't exist. Okay, but you've heard the stories. (laughs) Yeah, I've heard the stories. They were always told as a a please-don't-go-caving-alone horror story. Uh, Trust me, kid. I've been alone in these caves... Many times. Never have I ever come across some artifact or any weird, unexplainable presences. People just get disoriented in cave systems. Dis- disoriented. Oh, okay. I I cannot wait to prove you wrong. <laughs> I could I could say the same thing. You can try to prove me wrong all you want, but I I like I said I've been in these caves many times, and I've I've even taken this exact route. There's nothing here. Okay. Okay, but here okay, listen, me out. kid. I, I'm trying to tell you that I'm, I'm. Okay, I. I really hate you calling me that. By the way, kid. I'm not a kid. My name is Blair. Okay, listen, kid. I really don't care, and I'd rather not indulge in your delusions. Delusions. <laughs> I'll have you know that I, I am an hear English it. major, and I. All right, keep up, everyone. If we want to stay on schedule. We got to keep moving. Okay, listen up, everyone. The next section is extremely narrow. It's going to have to be a single file line. I'll take the lead. Stay close. After this, we'll take a break. Uh, We'll take this bit slow. I've never felt closer to you guys. Shut Shut up, up, Clyde. Jesus, just trying to break the tension. Just be quiet. If I didn't know any better, I'd say you're scared. Yes, I am. I'm terrified of small spaces, and unlike you, I can actually admit my fears. So please shut up so I can focus on breathing. I didn't know. She'll... she'll be okay. We're, uh... Alan, we're almost through, right? Yep. Just a bit further. What the fuck was that? We're okay. Just, uh, pick up the pace. Don't worry, Sarah. We've got you. Everyone out! Quick! Is everyone okay? Yeah, we're fine. Sarah, are you alright? I'm fine. I'm okay. Fucking hell. What the hell happened? Alan! I don't know. Uh, just... Just take a break, everyone. Uh, we'll be okay. Just need to reroute us a little bit. What the... What the fuck? Sarah, are you okay? Never better. Can everyone stop asking that? We're worried. We didn't know how scared of this shit you are. Sarah, you really didn't have to come on this trip. I know, I just... God, you're making it sound like you don't even want me here. What? Of course we want you here! Sarah, we don't want you pushing yourself because you feel like you have to. I don't feel like I have to. I just... I was sick and tired of sitting things out, okay? I'm fine. Just leave me alone for a second. Yeah, got it. Sorry, um... Sorry, I, I, I just need to pause for a second. Yeah, no, that's... That's okay. We can take this at your pace. Do you... Do you want to talk about it? No. Yes, I don't... I don't... No. 
it just, it sucks. We could have made it out, and then maybe none of this shitty stuff would have happened to me. <laughs> to any of us. And then I would have never gone to Redtail. Fuck. Sorry. I, I don't mean it like that. No, I... Reese? I get it. I, uh... Yeah, I, I don't love that we had to meet each other in the context of the dead zone being a thing. Like, I'm, I'm also not jazzed about that. Um, yeah. I, I'm pretty sure I would be thinking exactly the same shit if I was in your position. I mean, I'm like kind of in your position, just like 50% of the way. Anyway, no one should have to go through even half of the bullshit either of us has been through. So, yeah. I get, I get it. I get you. Mm -mm. It's not, uh, it's not even done. Like, what we just went through, we, we still need to, what do you mean? I don't know, talk about all of it? We haven't spoken about anything that happened at Red Tail. We just compartmentalized it and ignored it and accepted it. I... Well, I, I mean... Yeah, sure. I mean, we'll, we'll talk about it eventually. Like, it'll come up, you know. And, and what's the rush? I, I, I just figured that um, you wanted to deal with the like the cave stuff first. I mean, it's kind of a, you know, figure out what's in front of you first and then deal with everything else later. Right? Yeah. That, right. I do still want to get through it. I just, I don't want to forget about the present while I'm digging around in the past. I'm... Oh, don't... <laughs> don't worry. I'm not gonna... I'm like... Are you, how how are you gonna forget about the present? I'm I'm right here. <laughs> I'm, uh, well, you gonna forget about me? You gonna no. start ignoring me? Is that, is that what's gonna start happening? No, you know I wouldn't do that. I mean, I keep you around because uh -huh. I like you. <sighs> Only that, eh? Just uh. Just here as, as moral support, no function, and... No, wait, hey, wait. When did I get demoted? Mm. <laughs> what, when did we When did we go from being... Like, when did I get bumped down? <laughs> like, I, feel like, I feel like not that long ago, it was... Oh, Alex, I love you. Now, now you just like me? I don't like talk me? like that. How Shut far up. I fall. <laughs> I do not sound like that. Shut up. I mean, you sound a little bit like that. I, <laughs> hey, I spent ages listening to you over the radio. I think I have a pretty good idea of how you sound. Oh, obviously not. <laughs> you're acting like you're mad, but you are smiling. And it's nice seeing you smile. So I'm not sorry. Sorry. I, I mean, I'm sorry. I... That's well, it's probably not something you see often. I'm. I I guess no. I. I don't know. No, no. Like I. That's not what I was saying, Reese. Like that's not. I'm not saying that. You've been, like, you know. It's not like I'm trying to tell you that you need to smile more. I'm like, <laughs> you're not a cashier at the fucking corner store. And I'm <laughs> like, you'd be so pretty if you smiled, baby. Oh like, my God. That's not, no. I, no, that's, I'm just, when we were in Red Tail, I, like it was all over the radios. Right? It's not, I couldn't see your reactions to things. I, I couldn't see you smile. Hell, fuck. Half the time, 
it would just like cut off in the middle of you laughing. So, I, I, I didn't mean it as a bad thing. I, it's nice being able to actually see you <laughs> smile. That's all I meant. And in this corner, we have the return of Sappy Alex. Oh, and I see we also have the return of Reese, the little shit, Williams. Yep, you know it. <laughs> mm-hmm. What am I saying? It's not like she ever left. Nope. She's been here the whole time. I've been here the whole time. But... Before you... Anyway. I, before you get on my ass about being sappy some more, do you, uh... Do you want to keep going? Do you want to... Should we continue? Should, should I start it again? Do you do you mind if we take a break, actually? No. But, no, of course not. Let's... Reese, this is for you. Yeah. I'll go get us some coffee. Thank you. Okay, and here we go. A triple-triple for you, and black for me. The superior uh. way to drink your coffee. That's disgusting. Ah. It's coffee. I don't. What are you drinking? Can you? How do you call that coffee? I think that's by volume. That is more sugar and cream than it is coffee. Like you, it is you, not. You've waved a coffee bean above like sweet milk. How dare you? This is pure, wonderfully tasting coffee that had to be changed. So I would love it. <laughs> Well, you know what? I beg to differ. <laughs> anyway, how are you feeling? I'm better. Uh, a lot better now. Thank you. Good. I, th I think I'm okay to keep going. You sure? I'm sure. Wait, can, can, can you repeat that? I have a plan to get us out of here. Could you not interrupt me, please? Sorry, sorry. Uh, okay. Continue. Now, Colin Caves has many entrances and exits. We're about a day's trip away from one of them. If we get some rest tonight and we start heading there tomorrow morning, we'll make it out late night. Here. I have multiple copies of the map. I've marked the route on all of them, just in case anything goes wrong. Come on, man, don't speak that into existence. Clyde, come on. What? That's like rule one in scary situations. Never talk about things going wrong. That's like manifesting shit. No one is manifesting anything. I just want to be prepared. Let's set up camp. Reese. Reese, are you up? Yep, wide awake. Are you okay? Well, besides being fucking terrified, yeah, I'm fine. Come here. I'm scared too. This was supposed to be safe. I did everything right and I still dragged everyone off to some dangerous situation. Again. I put people's lives in danger. Again. Well... <sighs> It's caving, Blair. It was always going to be dangerous. You... You know what I mean. I do. I'm sorry. I'm just... I'm trying to keep it together. Well, you're doing a good job. Thanks. So are you. You know, maybe I should just... Give up on the stupid paranormal shit. It doesn't seem to be working out for me at all. What? You, what? You love the paranormal shit. Okay, yeah, but I also nearly flunked my writing about literature class because of my constant ghost chasing. I can't keep doing that. 
Yeah, but that was the professor's fault. He was an asshole. He was totally awful. <laughs> okay, he was awful. You're right. I did not deserve that 45% at all. Of course I'm right. <laughs> I know you didn't deserve that. <laughs> Thank you for going along with my stupid ideas, even though you're always right about how stupid they are. Well, someone needs to make sure you don't get yourself killed. I... I hope you don't think that that's your job. Huh? What's that supposed to mean? I just... I... I don't want you following me to places you don't want to be because you're... worried. I get your point, but... Have you considered that we're dating? And that I enjoy spending time with you? Reese, babe, yes, I know that. It's just... <laughs> Good. All that talk was making me get worried. Uh, Reese, I love you. That I know for certain. I just, I, I don't want to be a chore to you. I don't want you doing things that you don't want to do because I'm doing them. You know? You're not a chore. <laughs> I come with you because I love you too. Okay, well, next time I suggest a dumb idea, you are not coming. Do you hear me? Not Coming, Reese. Hmm. <laughs> nope. I'm still going. I'm here for all your dumbass ideas, whether you want me to be or not. Okay, Reese, come on. What? <laughs> You're not. You're gonna get yourself killed, making sure I don't get myself Maybe killed. Maybe we'll be killed together. Okay, that is that is not funny. We could decay in oh, each other's mm -hmm. arms. People yeah. finding our skeletons after hundreds of years, <laughs> still embracing. Okay, wow, that's so romantic. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know me and my amazing date ideas. Now hush and try to get some sleep. Okay, that's an impossible task, but I'll try. I love you. Good night, Reese. I love you. Sleep tight, Blair. You two are disgusting. Clyde, go to sleep. How am I supposed to sleep when they're being all lovey-dovey? Clyde. I'm going, I'm going. Okay. Yeah, um, I, uh, now I need to stop. Can we take a break? Yeah, that's fine. Are you okay? Did something happen? No, no, like, I'm, I'm fine. It's not like I, like, I don't have the, like, I wasn't there, you know? Um, that was the most uncomfortable however many minutes of my life. Uh... Yeah. Ugh. Mm. I'm sorry. I I get it's bad. Well, but it wasn't at the time. At we were you know. we were dating. <sighs> we aren't anymore though. I I think you were exactly that bad at the time. Uh. And I I'm, I'm not even the only person who uh thought so. <laughs> Glad I had the right idea. Well, You've already been like that with me. Remember? Sappy Alex. I, he exists. No, no. I have it in recording, so you can't deny it. Mm, I am pretty sure that any anything you were referring to right now is a malicious fabrication. It is um, not. Well, I mean, the court will have to decide. But we'll, uh... You're taking we'll me have to, to court? We'll have to leave it... Are you gonna take the couch and the dog too? I've listen. The couch and the dog got taken by the dead zone. <laughs> it's just us now. <laughs> so that was not a. I shouldn't make those jokes. Um. Anyway, no. I've uh, I've never been nice to you. I've never been sappy. Uh, mm -hmm. I have been mean mm -hmm. this entire time, oh, yeah. just as requested. Mm -hmm. I'm very good at following instructions. Um, so, yeah, so I've I've been I've been mean <laughs> from moment one. <laughs> I'm very consistent. Oh, oh, absolutely. But is it okay if we stop for a while? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. That's that's no problem. Really, are you okay? Yeah, no, I'm I'm okay. I just if I'm going to 
you know, like listen to you be uh, sappy with someone. Not saying that that has ever happened. Um, I would rather just, you know, be spending some time with you that isn't doing this. <laughs> For the record, that was so Alex coming? being sappy. So are you are you coming with me or am I just going on my own? I'm going to be coming with you. Because I'll leave you. But I am going to tease you the whole time. Uh Uh-huh. All right. Keep up. (laughs) Keep up, nerd. At the beginning of this episode, you heard the trailer for Waterlogged. This is your reminder to go check it out. Do You Copy is written and produced by Delaney Sutton. In this episode, you heard the voices of Kale Brown as Alex Taylor, Ailey Nicholson as Reese Williams, Kit Patterson as Dakota Maxwell, Delaney Sutton as Blair Whitfield, Ted Hevner as Clyde O'Connor, Maddie Gerard as Sarah Davis, and Matt Bartlett as Alan Dufour. A special thanks to Kaylee Scott for the theme song. Thanks for listening. Also, shout out to my cat, who's literally on my chair as I record these. Thanks, Luna, for taking up all the space. <laughs>